Hi there. This is Ryan Malloy here at the Worldwide Center of Mathematics. In this video, we're going to discuss what is a Pythagorean spiral. Pythagorean spiral is a very interesting shape, and in order to construct it, we must first start with a right isosceles triangle in which both of the legs have the length of one unit. It could be any unit you want, inches, centimeters, as long as it's consistent. And then, using the Pythagorean formula, we can very easily find the length of our, our hypotenuse. When we recall that in a right triangle with legs A and B and a hypotenuse of length C, the lengths of the three sides are related as such. A squared plus B squared equals C squared. When we plug in the information that we already know. 1 squared plus 1 squared equals C squared. 2 equals c squared. We simply take the square root of both sides. So what that tells us is that the length of this hypotenuse is equal to the square root of 2 times whatever unit we're using. Okay, so that's the foundation of the Pythagorean spiral. Construction is a little bit more interesting. From this upper right corner here, what we're going to do is make a right angle with our hypotenuse and then measure up one unit so this will make another right angle here and then we'll connect this point that's floating out here in space with this point down here you can see that makes another right triangle and you can very easily compute the length of this hypotenuse by again employing the Pythagorean formula. But you quickly find that it is of length root 3. And then we just repeat the process over and over again. Make a right angle with the last point, measure out one unit. Connect that hanging point with the center. This is also length one. Make this one yellow. And this becomes square root of four, or simply two. Okay. Let's repeat the process one more time so you get a good idea of what it looks like in the end. So make a right angle, measure out one unit, connect these lines, and then this one is going to be square root of 5. You just keep going this way and it'll slowly expand outwards like that. If you've constructed it correctly, you should be able to get to a right triangle, the hypotenuse length of square root of 17 before the triangles start to overlap. And you'll see that eventually creates something that looks a bit like a conch shell, which is a rather interesting pattern. My name is Ryan Malloy, and we just discussed what is a Pythagorean spiral.